In this video, I'll show you how to install and configure an OpenVPN server on a Windows computer. Once you set up the OpenVPN server on your computer, you will be able to access your shared files from outside your network. Also, you will be able to use the VPN connection to secure your internet traffic on public Wi-Fi or while you are traveling. Guys, the setup process is going to be lengthy, but you can easily accomplish this by following each and every step carefully. First of all, open your browser and navigate to the OpenVPN download page. Download the Windows 64-bit MSI installer package. After downloading, run the installer. Click Customize on the Installer Wizard. It lets you install extra items for your VPN server. Click on the Open SSL Utilities drop-down and select Entire Feature will be installed on local hard drive. Then click on Install Now. After installation, open the Services app. Find the open VPN service and set the startup type to manual. Stop the service. Then look for the routing and remote access service. Make the startup type automatic and start the service. We now have OpenVPN installed on our computer. The next step is to generate certificates and keys for the server and clients. Open command prompt as an administrator. Now we need to run these commands one by one. First, enter this command to go to the easy RSA folder in your OpenVPN installation directory. Then enter easyrsa start.bat to launch the easyrsa command line interface. The easyrsa shell will manage all of your certificates, keys and configurations. This command will initiate a directory for the public key infrastructure or PKI which will manage public and private keys for your server and clients. Next, run this command to create the root certificate file or CA which will be used to sign other certificates and keys. This command will generate the certificates and key files for the server. Next, enter this command to generate the certificate and key files for the client. If you want to give access to multiple clients at the same time, then you can create multiple client certificates and key files. Lastly, use this command to generate Diffie-Hellman parameters. Diffie-Hellman is a protocol that will ensure that your VPN stays secure. Now we have generated all the required files for the server and client and they have been saved in their respective folders in the OpenVPN directory. Now you can exit the EasyRSA interface. To provide additional protection to the VPN server, we'll generate a TLS auth key. For that, enter this command. The generated ta.key file is saved in the EasyRSA folder.
Next, you need to create a server configuration file. To create the file, just copy this text into your notepad. If you want, you can make changes according to your needs. Then save the file as server.ovpn. Then copy the file into the configuration folder in the OpenVPN directory. Now that you have configured your OpenVPN server, the next step is to ensure that you can access the server from outside your network. For that, you need to allow the OpenVPN connection through your Windows firewall. To allow the OpenVPN connection, open UDP port 1194 in your Windows firewall. Also, to allow file sharing over the internet, you have to open TCP port 445 in your Windows firewall. Next, you have to set up a port forwarding in your router. To do that, first, assign a static IP address to your computer. Now, go to your router's web interface and open the UDP port 1194 for your computer's IP. Also, make sure your router's WAN IP is a public static IP. If it's a dynamic IP, then you have to set up a dynamic DNS on your router. And if it's a private IP, then your router is behind other NAT devices. In that case, the open VPN server connection is not going to work in your network. I have a public static WAN IP, so I do not need any other setup in my router. Next, if you want to route your client's internet traffic such as web browsing through the VPN server, you have to enable internet connection sharing in the server computer. For that, you need to connect your Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter with the OpenVPN TAP adapter. To do so, right-click your internet adapter. Click Properties. Go to the Sharing tab. Tick the box Allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. From the drop-down, select OpenVPN TAP Windows 6. In order to allow OpenVPN clients to access the internal LAN, enable the IP Enable Router option in the registry. Now let's connect the VPN server. To do so, launch the OpenVPN GUI as administrator. Right click on its icon in the system tray and click connect. Once connected, it shows the assigned IP address of the VPN server, which is in my case 10.24.1.1. In the next step, I'll be showing how to connect to the VPN server from a client device. 
For that, you need to copy these files from the server computer. First, create a folder on your desktop and name it Client. Then copy the files one by one from their respective directory. We also need to create a configuration file for the OpenVPN client. For that, copy this text into your notepad. Here, simply enter your server's public IP address or DDNS hostname in case you set up a dynamic DNS service. Then save it as client.ovpn file. Now, you can provide this folder to your client so that they can configure their OpenVPN client application. Before going to the client setup process, let's share a folder from this server computer. To enable file sharing over the network, make sure your network is set as a private network. Then enable advanced sharing in your settings. I am going to share this folder so that I can access it from the client device over the internet. Ok, we have shared the folder over the network. Now let's move to the client device. I'll be using my Android phone as the client device. I'm gonna turn on my mobile internet and check my current public IP. Please note down this IP. I'm gonna connect this Android phone to the OpenVPN server that I've just set up on my computer. After the VPN connection, this public IP address should change and it should show the VPN server's public IP. So, to configure the OpenVPN client, download the OpenVPN Connect tab from Play Store. You have to import all the files from the client folder, which you copied from the server computer. Now, my mobile is connected to the VPN server. You can see, I am still connected to my mobile data. But now, if I check my public IP again, you can see, it's showing my home network's public IP, where the VPN server is running. Now, to access the server computer's shared folder, you need to use a file manager app that supports remote file access. For that, I'll be using the CX File Explorer app. In this app, simply go to the Networks tab, click New Location, go to the Remote tab, select Local Network, click on Manual Input. In the Host field, enter the VPN server's IP. Check the anonymous box and click OK.
Now I'm able to access all the files that the server computer is sharing. Now let's see how can you set up the OpenVPN client on another computer. First of all, download and install the OpenVPN Connect app. Launch the OpenVPN Connect app. Then import the .ovpn file from the client folder. Now try and connect to your VPN server. If everything is set up correctly, you should get connected without any error. Here it shows the client IP address. Finally, you should check if you can successfully ping the server from the client. And the client from the server. In case the server and the client are not responding to each other, just turn off the Windows Defender Firewall on both the computers and try again. Now just check your public IP and it should show the VPN server's IP. You can also access the shared files over the internet. Just go to the network section in your file manager. Then enter your VPN server's IP in the address bar. You can see I am able to access the files of the server computer. So guys, in this tutorial, you have learned the proper steps to install OpenVPN server on a Windows computer. You also learned to configure the OpenVPN client on another computer or mobile device. At this point, you now have a fully functional VPN service that you can use to secure your internet connection as well as access files from a remote computer.